Hi all, this is Karthik from Design School for WordPress Beginners, the place where I teach you how to design, build and customize your websites. If you are new here, consider subscribing so that you don't miss out on any exciting new updates. Let's get into the video. This video is a part of playlist called Elementor Basics in which we talk about every widget, every feature and all things Elementor and today we will be discussing about the alert widget. There is a saying called don't judge a book by its cover. It's exactly true for this widget. It looks like it has got nothing on the surface but if you really dig through it, you can do quite a lot with this widget without wasting any further time. Let's get into the video. So basically you can pick four types of alerts. It can be info, it can be success, it can be warning and based on that it changes its color scheme and it occupies this kind of full width which I don't like. I'll show you how to customize that in a bit. So you can customize the title and also the description. So you can type in whatever you want in your title and in your description. You can also choose to show or hide the dismiss button. If you hide the dismiss button, this just becomes a standard note. Well, how exactly is this element useful? Well, if you see the docs.elementor.website, I opened a couple of articles from this web. This is Elementor docs website, official website. So you can see that if they want to highlight something really important, they use this particular styling which can be achieved through our alert widget as you can see here and not just that here's another tip if you want to highlight a particular piece of content maybe a warning or a tip you can do that by using this widget so let me copy the whole thing and let me paste it or let's actually paste this in the title itself and see how that looks perfect right it looks like a pro tip you can change this background scheme if you want or if it's a warning you can change it to danger that's a neat little way to do it and like i showed you in the block code widget tutorial whatever takes text can also take html elements and not just plain content you can also use html tags within your content so within the title and also the description you can use html tags and they'll format it based on the properties that you give for this tag these may be defined in your theme or maybe in your page builder at a global level so you can see here i wrapped this tip with an h2 and it formatted it to be a heading and the same goes with the content you can also add links by typing the appropriate html i'll show you how to do this without actually coding the html I'll show you that in a bit. You can also give these classes or these tags a class name so that you can target them in CSS. For example, so I'll just say this is a class of target me. You can copy the class name, you can go to custom CSS and start targeting it using. So I'll just say background color red and you can see that particular element is targeted. Of course, you can change the font color as well. So it's color. Just change that to something readable so you can target basically any element right within the content area by giving it a class and wrapping it in a tag you can also add links but if you're not comfortable with all this by writing the actual code you can simply take the text editor widget from elementor put all the code so i'll just make this a link i'll just enter a url so here you can format the text the way you want maybe if you want to change the color of this to something else can select this text and pick the text color here let's make it a bit more intense so all this and let's make the rest of the text let's make it white so that it becomes a bit more readable so you can copy all this but not in the visual format just click on text from here take the content from here so you're basically taking the HTML of all the elements and you click on the alert widget you can paste it within the content area and you can see that it's properly styled. Well, you cannot see the content properly because the background is not letting you see through it. So you can go to style, click on background color and bring down the opacity to zero. You can clearly see the text behind it. You can also get rid of this border. So just make it as transparent. So now you can see it. So simply without even typing any HTML text editor widget and you can simply put in all your text, copy the HTML and that turns and formats properly in the content area of your alert widget. Okay, now that you learned how to format and enter HTML, here are a few ways to use it. So first, when you have changed an important thing on your website, such as your privacy policy, you can use this widget as the user can dismiss this easily. So you can notify your users of your updated privacy policy, terms and conditions. You can also preview the changes. The user can, so he can either read your updated privacy policy, he can click on this X button and that closes down and makes way for the rest of the content so it doesn't get in the way of your content and it's really a neat way to put most important information on your website without disturbing user experience 
You can also use this widget to have more sales and conversions on your website. So you can have something like this. Maybe you can give user a unique discount coupon code that will make him buy the product. So you can format the title and description like you see here on the screen and maybe the user can copy the discount code and he can enter that at checkout to get more discount and maybe that will make him buy the product. Of course you can put this into pop-up to increase the chance of conversions and do a lot more and when you show the close button user thinks that you're giving him an exclusive coupon and that may convince him to buy the product if he isn't already buying the product and make sure you style it properly so that it looks legit so just use a opacity value in between 0.5 to 0.4 and that will do the trick for you so you can put important notices on your website using this widget you can add notes or important points to note while using or while reading a particular text you can use this as a way to increase sales and conversions finally as you all know wherever there is text there can be short codes too that's the magic of wordpress right so if you're not happy with the way your content is styled you can design a section template such as this one and just take the short code of the template not just this template you can take short code of any widget third party widget that supports short code just remove the content and in title just paste the short code well you may not see it in here i'll click on update and i'll update my preview so you can see that in the preview i have my template or the section that i designed so you can simply take the short code and paste it in the title and update this and this is a banner and then it's a template within a banner so you're essentially nesting two templates or two kinds of widgets so it's dismissible by the user if he doesn't want to try it so if he wants to try it he can just click on this button and he can go and get the registration done or i can simply click on the button to dismiss it and that's a really neat way to add call to actions to your website using the alert widget and also by using the short codes from other templates or sections so before ending this video i want to show you how you can adjust the width of this if you have the pro version of elementor go to advanced and the custom positioning you can go under the width field and you can click on the custom and here you can drag the slider to adjust the width of your banner or the alert widget so you can put the value in pixels or you can say that in percentage so you can do all the sorts of stuff you can also change the position from this to absolute so that you can position it wherever you want maybe here just like that so that it looks perfect so you can do that with the pro version of elementor you can also do it with css so let me undo what i did just now so you can find the class of this element it's elementor alert widget you can see here so within that you have your alert title elementor alert title and within that you have a class of elementor alert description so those are the classes that you need to target if you want to style them exclusively again i'm not going to go into this because it's pretty straightforward and if you watch the other videos in elementor basics you can do it yourself i'll just show you one property that i really think that it should have been there even though this widget can be really helpful there's no real way to position your text in the middle to align it in the center or just position this banner onto the middle or change its width unless and until you do it with custom css or with custom positioning well let's see how we can do the same with custom css and for those of you who don't know you can make custom css work on the free version of elementor as well so i'll leave a link to that video in the description so if you don't have the pro version if you don't have the custom css field make sure you check out how to make custom css work on the free version so i'll just target this element by its class name and the first thing i want to change is its width so i just want it just half as its parent so within this container it will just be 50 percent of the space that's great you can also give your width in pixels so if you want an absolute value you can say 500 pixels and that value will apply i just want it to be at 50 percent so i'll just give or change the width to 50 percent again this is something it's a personal choice and i want the text to be onto the center of this so how do i do it it's with a property called text align it takes left center right whatever right and also justified 
so i'll just say text align center it's great now we change the width and the text align position how do we align it onto the center of the page or the post that you're adding this to well it's simple with a property called position already taught custom positioning in css with elementor so i'll leave a link to that in the description you just say position absolute or relative you don't have to understand much about it just type absolute or relative and just add a value of width so if it's 25 percent it will be aligned onto the center perfectly because on the left you have 25 percent which means on the right you'll have 25 percent too and the width of the container is 50 percent meaning it's a complete 100 percent if you don't understand this don't stress much about it just add any random value and make sure you it's positioned onto the left so if my width is 50 percent and I give it a value of left 25%, it will be aligned perfectly onto the center. If I want it to be aligned perfectly onto the right, well, what do I do? 50%. So it's 50% onto the left. That will align it perfectly onto the right. And the same goes for aligning it onto the left, which is by default. So I don't have to change much about it. I'll just keep it to center aligned. So I'll just change this to 25%. So that looks neat. So those are some of the properties that they sh I think they should have added right within the widget itself. But the widget itself is really useful. Again, you saw the use cases of the widget. I'll talk to you in the next video. There is a lot more coming in the future. So make sure you don't miss out a thing. Before ending this video, I want to thank you for watching all the content that I create for you. We have achieved a milestone, not just in terms of views, but also in terms of the content created itself. So there are over a hundred videos to watch and I'll be adding more on a weekly basis and if possible on a daily basis, I'll double down on content. Once again, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Talk to you in the next video. Peace.